We have a great search brought to you by DigiKey Native for every single week. Lead data user power of engineering help you. Yes, you find things on digikey.com. Lead data, what is the great search of the week? Is this a week? Okay. So this week, uh, for folks who remember, like about a year ago, yeah, it was a year ago, we did the great search on getting high powered infrared emitters. Um, and we made this board that um, has a right angle and like a vertical and a horizontal emitter uh, so that you can just blast IR for making like TV guns or infrared remote mimickers or just you want to illuminate ir somewhere um and this has been working great i uh, love this board it's all good but then um we had a request from the internal team to make the opposite i want a receiver something that receives infrared um because we have these like uh remote receiver we had these little doodads and they're wonderful and everything but they're really hard to mount and you have to like solder these little wires and like i mean they work great and everything but um Folks wanted something that was like plug and play mountable, um, maybe even has a little LED to tell you that the signal was received a little debugging information. So I, um, oh, this is not right angle, but this is uh, a design that I came up with. Um, so it has a right angle um, receiver and a vertical receiver. And then there's a switch to go between the two. And the reason there's a switch, like why don't you just tie them together, is because they're push-pull and I don't want the outputs to fight each other if one's getting a slightly different signal. And I don't want them to corrupt the signal. So you just decide, did you want the you know vertical style or the horizontal style? Um, which is cool and everything. Um, but one thing about the these receiver modules, these are like the SMT versions of that through hole, is that they're fixed in their frequency, the carrier frequency, which is like 99% of the time, 38 kilohertz. But sometimes it isn't. Like some people have like remotes that are 50 kilohertz, 40 kilohertz, you know, like 28, whatever. And um, even though these have a little bit of fluctuation, they're not definitely not going to go to 40, sorry, to 45 or 56. Like there, there's limitations. And so I was reading about learning remote um, receivers that are they don't do the full decoding, but they will give you the carrier signal modulated. So they'll just kind of, they'll at least give you like the cleaned up. They'll basically give you what you set to the IR LED with the, the carrier wave in place. So you can determine what the frequency is. And like there are situations I think that this can be really handy. Um, one, when you want to get like the raw signal from the IR, um, but also maybe like, you know, there's there are, um, I think like programs for like Raspberry Pi or whatever that can do IR remote uh, learning so you can learn about the remote and then duplicate it or their repeaters. Um, so I thought that could be kind of interesting. And we actually had, and you know, as it was funny is like, I love like when I research something and then like the, one of the links is to learn and I'm like, well, so like uh, Chris Young did an infrared, he did, sorry, I gotta find where it is because he did a lot of remote projects. This one, so it turned out he actually was using um, a TCMP learner chip because somebody linked to this. So this was really cool. Um, I was like, well, what, what is a learner chip? And then you like read the data sheet. Basically, like I said, it, it has a wide band of receiving. So let's go to DigiKey and find a wide band infrared receiver. So let's look for infrared receiver. I before E except after C, guys. Okay. Photo detectors, remote receivers. So let's go to the category. Okay. 1342. And then what's nice is that I was like, whoa, like, yeah, here's the center frequency. Remember I said like almost all of them are 38 kilohertz, but there are some that go above and some that go fairly low. And then there was like, you could, there was one that you could select the center frequency. And I was like, bomb, I'm done. Then I was like, this is going to be the shortest great search in the history of great searches and then i was like wow there's even some in stock chip shortage is over so i clicked on the tcmp 770000 and i was like this is really cool um because yeah it will give you the modulated output that's their thing they're like there's a little bit of delay but they'll give you the modulated output it's good from you know a wide range of wavelengths it does 840 and 940 and you know even up to like 1000 nanometers um, easy pick and place part, but, 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 but it's no longer manufactured and not available. Um, but there are substitutes. What's interesting is 
the substitutes did not show up here. So if you look, there was only one, well, two. There's the TR version, the TT version down here, and like this one, but there was no others. So what I did is I was like, well, okay, let me look at what's going on. And I was like, well, there's like the TC. I was like, oh, there's TCMP 59, 960. So are, there are a couple options, including one that was the through hole version that was in that guide. But then I was like looking at this and what I didn't understand was why, what was all the differences? Because if you search for, and like how did, like was 96, like the strength or the frequency, and I didn't really want to dig through all the data sheets. So what I ended up doing is um, I found this document on Vichay and they make like the most infrared receivers. Like they, they're kind of, they kind of run, they kind of run this place. And thank you, Sebastian Schaefer, who did a really nice job of explaining all the part numbers. And this is like a great document. I rarely see this, where they really explain like what every number and letter means, because then you know what you're searching for. So the application, and they're like, oh, if it's TCMP, that means it's a learning remote. And I'm like, great, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And then they have this like IC type, which you can ignore. And then I was like, well, what is the 96? like there's 96 95 90 whatever so the first number is the package and i don't know if they have the photos of the packet they don't have the photo but like all the different shapes are different they have like different names for them like heimdall who's like a norse god and bellobog which also sounds like a norse god but i'm not sure and then like mold mini mold cast so i guess like package information and then the auto gain, um, I'm assuming this is automatic gain circuitry. So it's like how it does um, gain detection. And then the frequency. And so we want zero, zero, because there's no band pass. It's like it lets through anything within that frequency range. So if we go back, to, well, let's actually search for TSMP, right? Because we learned from this that anything that's TSMP will be a repeater or learner part. And let's now look at active because like we've learned some are not available. So it's apply. And then, you know, there's different sensing distances, but maybe that doesn't matter. And this is the thing, they do have a center frequency, but like the categorization doesn't realize that the frequency is wide. You know what I mean? It's like there is a, the center is 38, but it's like, it doesn't narrow band. It's a wide band. That's okay. Um, so a couple different options so it looks like all of them are like ts well let's look at the ones that are just like normally stalking because there's only like a couple so there's 95 98 96 and then another 98 this is 98 100 98 zero, zero. so let's look at it so nine um tsmp sorry nine 96 wait that's weird because they said the package is but the package is different i think oh nine sorry this number is this nine it's a silene ic i don't know what that means it must be some process thing they've got so these are all silenes i think and then nine six zero 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 so they're fixed gain no learning so yeah the number here uh, sorry, the first number is just the the um, TSMP means learning. Nine means the chip ID, and then the next number is the package. And then this one has a one hundred in it, and looks like that has a slightly different automatic gain. I guess. Well, we're not going to pick the through hole one anyway, so let's pick the SMT uh, surface mount. And then apply. So the surface mount will have a a, a lower. Um, yes, they don't have as wide of a gain. They're only good for like two meters or so. But that's okay. Um, and then looks like there's two versions. I actually tried to figure out like the real big difference between these, but I like one is just a little bit smaller, but the gain is about the same. Um, but the price is a little different. This one is a little bit cheaper in quantity. This one's, I don't know. They're kind of like the same thing, same frequency, the same dish. So but they're both pretty good. Um, but I think I'm just going to go with, what's interesting is also this is five meters and this is two meters. 
but I think I'm going to go with the 96,000. So yeah, this looks kind of nice. I like that it runs from two to five volts and yeah, it's very simple carrier output. So, um, you just have to clean up the power supply. And then when you get the signal out again, you're going to have to do your frequency counting to figure out what the, the frequency is. Um, but I think it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to make a breakout for one of these as well. Um, they have a vertical. One nice thing about the Vichy parts is they have two versions. There's the, it's like the pins are, they go around. So there's a right angle version, this one that sticks at the end and a vertical version you can see that sticks up. It just depends on how it comes on the tape. Anyways, this is my pick for the great search. And that's the great search. Where